Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Uh, this week I want to talk a little bit more about the, uh, you know, last week I mentioned on the Maverick, some of the Maverick technologies, the adaptive cruise control on the Lariat, when the, in that Lariat luxury package. So we're going to talk a little bit about adaptive cruise control. I did a video about a year ago on the adaptive cruise. Uh, all the same features are still in, uh, valuable and still uh, going on uh, now. They haven't really changed it uh, because it was pretty fresh uh, back about a year ago, uh, giving you the actual, uh, some other benefits like the intelligent adaptive cruise control on some vehicles. So uh, what I wanna do is kinda uh, go over and uh, play that video uh, for you so that way you can kinda see how that, uh, that technology works. But at the end, I wanna wrap it up because there's some other questions some people had about the adaptive cruise control that I wanna answer in this week. Tech Tuesday with Tim. We're going to do a how-to video for the adaptive cruise control. A lot of vehicles are coming with adaptive cruise anymore. Uh, some are even standard, uh, like the Fusion Hybrid SE, uh, and then other vehicles. As being, you see that on some of your upper trims as being standard equipment and available as optional equipment uh, depends on the different vehicle. So we're going to show you uh, some screenshots of some different uh, layouts. Uh, depends on what type of vehicle you have. Uh, and uh, kind of show you that. First, I want to kind of talk a little bit about what adaptive cruise control is for those that maybe don't have a vehicle with it and are curious of what that is. Adaptive cruise uh, basically allows you to be able to, when your cruise is set, to be able to set a gap and you can, when you come up behind somebody, it's gonna slow you down to go to their speed without you having to press the brake. And then when you pass them or they speed back up, uh, it'll resume your cruise control up to that speed that you have set. Uh, so it's kind of neat not having to use your brakes so much. It kind of saves on that. Also, you know, when you, especially when you have that traffic, a lot of these will come with stop and go capabilities, which means it will bring you to a complete stop. So if you're in those big cities where that, you know, you're coming home from work and that rush hour traffic, it keeps uh, changing this, you know, the speed and the, the vehicles in front of you keep slowing down. Uh, then you don't have to hit your brake all the time. It'll go ahead and adapt that for you. Uh, and uh, so I want to show you where you'd find that, where to make sure you can activate it. Uh, depends on your different screen you have, as well as how to adjust the gap of how soon that it slows you down. Because that's a lot of people don't like the adaptive cruise because it slows you down too too early, and that's frustrating. Uh, and uh, they don't want to, they don't really like it for that fact. So I'm going to show you how you can adjust the gap. So maybe you can, you'll enjoy it a little bit more, and maybe use it more and see the benefit of that. Uh, so it depends on the screen you have. So the Fusion SE a hybrid, for instance, has a dual 4.2 inch screen. So you're going to be looking on that left screen over there and using the d-pad on the left side of your steering wheel to be able to control to be able to find that adaptive cruise because you're going to go to settings you're going to either hit okay or, or move over on settings and then from there on the under the settings uh, you're going to be looking for driver assist features more than likely uh, it may be under advanced settings and then at that point you're going to be looking for cruise control so either the advanced settings or driver assist features is where you're going to be looking and be looking for that cruise control and then you can adjust it from normal to adaptive right through that screen there if you have the eight inch productivity screen like you'd see in your Expedition, your F-150 and Super Duty Lariat and above trims. Uh, you're going to have that 8 inch productivity screen. It's a little little different. You're going to have tabs at the top so you're going to use that D-pad to move over clear to the right to those gears and it'll say settings once you get over there. And then there you're going to be looking for advanced settings uh, and should be able to see some adaptive or some driver assist features there too. So you're going to be looking for these kind of key words uh, and that's where you're going to see those different settings there. Now you can have two different configurations. This is, happens to be an Explorer ST, so it has a portrait style screen. But if you have the eight inch per, uh, screen like you'd see in the, the 2020 Escape, as well as the 2020 Explorers, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna be in there. You're gonna go over to the settings tab at the bottom. Once you click settings, you're gonna be looking for a driver assistance. Uh, click on driver assistance, and then you're going to see cruise control, and there's where you're gonna be able to adjust it. This particular vehicle, it is the uh, same situation. You're gonna click on the settings on the right, except it's set up a little bit differently. So you're gonna see driver assistance actually at the top. So it divides it, there's actually three tabs, so you can scroll down easily by pressing those tabs. But driver assistance is actually the first tab, and then driver assistance is that first one. You just click on it, and you'll see cruise control is right there at the top. Click on cruise control, and I love the newer screens because it actually shows you what it, what it does, and it shows you your gap too. Uh, so if I adjust the gap, it actually is going to show you that that should change there. So here you can change it from normal, adaptive, and this ST actually has intelligent uh, adaptive cruise. And I'll talk a little bit more about that feature at the end because Explorer is one of the only vehicles that 
has the intelligent adaptive cruise control. So, uh, so in here, that's where you would adjust the normal and the adaptive for that. Uh, and then on the steering wheel is where you would adjust the gap. So your steering wheel will have two different configurations. You'll either see an up and down arrow. And when you press that, look on your screen, your productivity screen. It should show you your vehicle with those different gaps in there on how far, how close you are uh, to that uh, with the, those different gaps. So um, try that. It's usually going to come from the factory in that middle gap. Usually there's about three settings, sometimes four. Um, and tr try the middle gaps and see how it works. Uh, what it'll do is you'll notice maybe you'll slow down uh, a little bit earlier than you normally would expect. Uh, when I use this adaptive cruise, I have mine in the very closest setting and it still uh, works out uh, pretty well that way. It doesn't slow me down too early and then I'm able to move over. So um, as you'll, you'll see on your screen, when you come closer to vehicles, you'll see another vehicle on top. You'll see a vehicle with some lines and then once you see another vehicle, that means it's registered the other vehicle ahead of you and that it's going to start slowing you down. So that's usually a key that, hey, now is a good time for me to move over and eventually you'll, you'll learn that gap distance and then you'll know when you need to go ahead and move over and then it'll kind of keep you going at that speed uh, and then you can pass that vehicle. So. Uh, I love cru adaptive cruise control. I like uh, the fact that I don't have to hit my brake. It's going to adjust it for me. I just learn uh, over time to, you know, I need to move over a little sooner than I normally would. Um, and so sometimes that can be a little frustrating with traffic coming. And you may still have to hit your brake or um, slow you down and then, you know, use your gas to speed you back up quickly for those uh, speeding cars that are coming by. So uh, adaptive cruise control hopefully help, helped you out with that. Uh, briefly, let me talk about the intelligent uh, adaptive cruise if you're not sure what that means. If you put it on intelligent, actually in the, the, the Explorers now, it actually recognizes the speed limit signs. So let's say you're going in a 75 mile an hour zone on the highway in between cities uh, and you uh, have that set. Uh, when, let's say you come in and the speed limit changes to 65 and that sign comes up, it actually sees that sign and it will slow you down to hit, to hit that speed limit now. So you don't have to even adjust it for changes speed in the speed zones. And there is a tolerance down here. So you can adjust that. I think it really, I think it goes up to like 15 or 20 miles. Uh, I think it's, yeah, up to 20 miles over the speed limit, which would definitely get your ticket, but you can adjust it that way. And so like, if you like to go five over the speed limit, uh, you can adjust that to a plus five. And then what it'll do is, so like if your speed limit changes to 65, now it'll slow your cruise control down to 70 and automatically for you without you having to hit your brake or anything like that. So the intelligent um, uh, cruise control is a real great system. Uh, we're seeing that on these Explorers. This ST happens to have it on it. Uh, so again, adaptive cruise, cr cruise control is a pretty cool uh, feature. Uh, hopefully this helps you out enjoy your cruise control a little bit more and learn how to adjust your cruise control, not only the gap, but also how to activate it and deactivate it in your settings screen. So, so I hope that video was uh, help, helped you out a little bit, learn a little bit more about the adaptive cruise control and how to activate it and how it works and, and such. There was a couple of questions that I had on that video about a year ago. Uh, and one of them was uh, on the screen you probably saw there that if uh, as long as you don't come to a complete stop on the stop and go for uh, three seconds, if it's longer than three seconds that you're stopped, you will have to resume it. So that's how you get start it back up. So if you want to start the cruise right back up, then you just hit the resume button and it'll just be like uh, resuming your cruise control. Uh, like if you would hit, you know, cancel or something or you hit your brakes. Uh, that's kind of what it would do since you are coming to complete stop hit the resume button and it'll, and it'll speed you right back up to your speed or until the vehicle until you might come up with a vehicle behind or in front of you there uh, another way you can do that is just press the gas and you'll speed back up and then you can hit your cruise again like you typically would if you hit your brake uh, again another thing you can do to deactivate of course hit tap your brake cancel it will cancel adaptive cruise control as well uh, so that was uh, another question somebody had and they also asked what speed can this be activated uh, and I'm not sure I didn't see anywhere or Ford you know mentions where it can be activated I would assume it about any speed uh, because it can bring you to complete stop and then resume again uh, so would, I would assume it could be activated about any speed but probably over 10 or 15 miles an hour is what I would assume so uh, I know it can work at 30 40 you know in town uh, so uh, I should be able to work at almost any speed. So hopefully that helped you out. Of course, if you have any other questions about this, drop them down in the comments. I'll try to make sure I reply to those. Uh, I did not reply to those questions on my video a couple a year ago. I uh, didn't notice those for some reason. 
uh, so they were not addressed. So I wanted to make sure I pointed that out in this video. So again, too, I uh, kind of talk a little bit about some other uh, video projects that are going on uh, later this week. Uh, one we have tomorrow, I have an Escape SEL Complete Guide video where we talk about standard equipment, different packages. In fact, there's a new package for this year on the SEL trim for the Escape. Uh, and then also the standalone option. So I'll um, be looking for that video. It should drop uh, Wednesday uh, afternoon. Usually I drop those videos around four or five o'clock. So that video should go live uh, by then. Uh, so make sure you have that notifications turned on and you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. You'll wanna definitely make sure uh, that you are so you get notification for that video. As well as later in the week, we do did get an Explorer King Ranch uh, trim in. So I will be doing that video uh, as well. And I'm really excited to do another Explorer video. Uh, only able to do an Explorer XLT earlier this year. Haven't seen a lot of the other version, a lot of other trims in because of the shortage of inventory. Uh, so real glad that we were able to get a King Ranch uh, Explorer uh, finally delivered to the dealership so we can do a video on that trim. So be looking for that later in the week too. Hopefully by Friday I can have that video drop. Uh, and then also uh, don't forget to uh, tonight if you're into Maverick news updates and have questions about Maverick, uh, go on to, there is a Reddit, uh, down in the description, you'll check a link down there, that Reddit there, I'm going to be answering questions. So they asked me to be an AMA uh, tonight, and so people are going to just go ahead and, and put those questions in that, uh, that Reddit thread. So go ahead and drop your questions in there, and I'm going to be answering those tonight live, uh, right after this video actually, at 6.30 p.m. So if you're watching this video live, uh, then go ahead and click on that, put your questions down below, answer them right away. But even if you uh, see this video later and you still click on that thread, uh, I should get notifications of those. If you just tag me, uh, um, of course, uh, my username on there is Tim Bartz. Uh, pretty simple there. So if you want to tag me, then I'll answer those questions even, uh, even after tonight. So uh, just go ahead and throw those questions down there, and hopefully I can help uh, answer any Maverick questions you might have tonight as well. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and then the videos that we have coming this week. And until next week, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.